Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back. Welcome to Pure MMT. Welcome to Real Macro Economics and Investing. Patreon.com slash Real Macro. Okay. <laughs> so why did I say MMT is protected by stupidity? Because nobody is stupid enough to do what MMT says. Uh, unfortunately, there is... Uh, some people that are stupid enough to do what MMT says. <laughs> and uh, when when that does happen, MMT is exposed by stupidity. Erdogan, perfect example. Talk about stupid. You don't lower interest rates when you have a currency that nobody wants. Okay? And why don't they want it? Because no one... Uh, can print, borrow, and import to prosperity. It doesn't work like that. If it is, we can all just sit home on our couch and, you know, buy stuff with government uh, issuing money and we would all be rich. It does not work like that. You can't print, borrow, and import to prosperity. You see, and we're going to get into this a little bit later, but MMT are masters at putting the cart ahead of the horse. They're masters at it. For example, this is a great example. If you have high inflation, rates are going to rise. Why are rates going to rise? Because they want you to stop private money creation, banks making loans. There's too much money in the economy. There's not enough productivity. So what they do is, they start to raise interest rates because the productivity is not going to come anytime soon. So they raise the interest rates to try to keep the currency from devaluing even more. And more and more. That's just time that you need to make the economy more productive. When you don't make the economy more productive and you don't stop printing, borrowing, and importing, the currency will just continue to devalue and devalue and devalue. And then social unrest is going to follow shortly thereafter. That is why you never want to get into a position like Turkey, like Lebanon, like Sri Lanka. You don't want to get to that point where... You printed so much money that investors no longer want your currency. They're not, they don't trust you. You can't print in excess of productivity forever. You don't want to get to that. But once you get to that point, it is almost impossible to turn it all around. It is very, very difficult. And yet you have... MMT, running around, we just need more deficits. Deficits are just a myth. No government can ever default in its own currency. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Turkey has been defaulting uh, for decades. What are you talking about? And you see another default here. Okay? Can't print, borrow, and import to prosperity. Can't do it. Not going to happen. Never. Initially, it kind of feels good, right? We just got stimulus checks uh, past two years. Here, free money for everybody. Initially, it felt great. Oh, look, I got some extra money in my bank account. Let me go buy some Nike sneakers. Let me go buy an iPhone, whatever. Right? So you saw you saw a nice little bump in uh, household income. Oh, well, this is great. And then what happened? Household income is fading away. <laughs> it's inflation adjusted is it's dying off. Inflation ensues and here we are. Right? So you can't print, borrow, and import to prosperity. I keep saying that because it's true. So again, getting back to uh, MMT has been protected by stupidity. No one is ever going to be stupid enough like Erdogan to go out and lower interest rates in the face of inflation and devaluing currency. Nobody. And yet, <laughs> here we are. No one is stupid enough to go out and print $8 trillion 
and hand it out like candy to everybody because you're going to have an inflation problem that's going to follow. Well, here we are. <laughs> and, you know, here, and, and it's not just Trump, right? He was all fat, dumb, and happy. He was like, yeah, fucking free money for everybody. Biden is doing the same shit. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter who it is. Imagine that we printed in two years $8 trillion. $8 trillion in two years. And it took us 200 years to get to $10 trillion. 200. <laughs> and we printed it in two years. Wow. Nobody's stupid enough to do that. Well, guess what? There was. There was these stupid people. And these this stupidity is now exposing the stupidity of MMT. All right. Um, let's go over this chart real quick. And, and this is a great, great learning lesson for you guys who might be Forex traders. Um, Turkish lira started to devalue. Turkish Central Bank comes out and says, oh, shit. This is a big devaluation. So they come out and they raise interest rates to 24%. What happens when they raise interest rates? Well, the currency bounced and it stabilized. Okay. Then Erdogan comes out and says, no, 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 lower interest rates, you dummies. Lower interest rates. Warren Mosler is right. Lower, it's higher interest rates that are causing inflation. So they lowered it to 8%. What happened to the, <laughs> to the Turkish lira? It collapsed. Oh, duh. Okay, so okay, so they experimented. It didn't work. So what did they do? They panic and they come back 19%. What happened to the Turkish lira? They started to stabilize immediately. All right, if you're going to pay me 19%, I'll buy. And they went up as much as 20. Then they come out and says, no, 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 we're going to lower interest rates again. And what happens? Turkish lira starts to collapse again. Just a, just even talking about it, it, it started to collapse again. Okay? So it starts to collapse. They're like, all right, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. Oh, 15%. Boom, crash. <laughs> they lowered interest rates from 20% down to 15%. And the Turkish lira just collapsed. And it's still collapsing. You know what uh, World Moser said? Erdogan is, is, has it right. What is he going to say? <laughs> He's the one that came up with it. Right? The, the, this stupidity. Erdogan is like, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's lower interest rates. See what happens. You just destroyed the savings of 85 million people. You, you, you destroyed them. Killed them. In a matter of days. You think, uh, uh, you think Moses is going to come out and say, oh, God, I kind of fucked that up? Uh-uh, of course not. He's going to double down. He'll avoid it. Okay? Because he has no credibility. He's got no balls. He can't admit it, he's wrong. Never in a million years did he think that someone would be stupid enough to go out and lower interest rates in the face of inflation in a collapsing currency that nobody wants. These, my friends, are all defaults. One after the other, after the other, after the other. And real people, 85 million of them in Turkey, are suffering the consequences of an extremely bad theory. An extremely bad theory. Suffering. Suffering immensely. So, what does MMD, MMT do? What is the goal of MMT? The goal of MMT is to put the cart ahead of the horse to tell you that it's the higher interest rates that are causing inflation, not that inflation is causing higher rates. Move the, quote-unquote, the conversation into well, 
That's the way it is, and you can't prove otherwise because nobody's stupid enough to lower interest rates during high inflation. Nobody. There's no dummy out there that's going to do it. Therefore, I'm protected, and you can't prove me wrong. Except Erdogan comes along and proves the theory wrong, exposes MMT stupidity. You see, Mosler and MMT were depending that nobody would do something so stupid. They were depending that the U.S. government is not going to come out and spend $8 trillion in two years, $6 trillion in a year. They were, they were depending that they would not do something that stupid, and they did. You can print to inflation, they say, 6% inflation. What's the MMT solution? There isn't any. Make excuses. It's supply chains. It's transitory. Whatever. Um, where does the currency come from? No, wrong question. It's not where the currency comes from. It's what values the currency. See, value comes before the currency. You see, cart pulls horse. Uh, governments default because they get into foreign denominated debt. Wrong. Why did they get into foreign denominated debt? <laughs> you see, cart pulls horse. No, it's the horse that pulls the cart. Why did they end up in foreign denominated debt? Because they defaulted. Nobody wanted the currency. So they peg their currency to another currency. They end up in foreign denominated debt, and then they blow up. Because the whole entire time, they're saying they're promising that, oh, we're going to change things, we're going to change things. We're gonna, well, you're not going to change anything. Uh, your currency is going to go to zero. You're going to hyperinflate. Turkey is not a pegged currency. Right? They're collapsing. You see? Lebanon is a disaster zone. Sri Lanka, food food shortages. Imports are a benefit. Really? Are they? Job destroying imports that don't put food on the table are a benefit? Oh, yeah, 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 because we get the real resources, the real goods and services for worthless pieces of paper. Oh, now they're worthless pieces of paper, digits. Now they're worthless, but you said that the currency comes first, therefore the currency has value because it's a tax credit. <laughs> you see how <laughs> they don't make any sense. They admit that it's worth this piece of paper. And paper and digits are never value. Value comes before the digits. Right? Blood, sweat, tears, productivity, entrepreneurship, innovation. That's what values a currency. You can't just print up money and thinking, hey, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, a great economy, we're all gonna be rich. If it was like that, Venezuela would be the the richest country in the world. Argentina the same. Doesn't work like that. Here's another fallacy of MMT. The central bank sets interest rates wherever it wants. Really? Really? Hmm. Okay. Central Bank of Turkey lowered interest rates to 15%. <laughs> Where is the Turkish 10-year bond? Oh, yes, 20%. 20% and rising. Mm, interesting. Interesting. So does the central bank set interest rates? No. Private market does. The free market. That's who sets interest rates. Okay. That's what sets interest rates. I even have it so you guys can go and Click on it and see where interest rates are. It keeps rising. Not falling, rising. But Japan, 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 Japan. Japan is a net exporter. Something that says, MMT, the MMT says, is garbage. You don't want to be an exporter. Why would you export your real goods and services? 
the real resources. No, no. No. <laughs> Japan is an exporter. And as such, it acquires foreign currencies. It has large, large amounts of foreign reserves. It creates jobs. Unemployment rate in Japan is 2%. Okay. And they, as long as they can have euros, dollars, Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, Great Britain pound, whatever, they can defend the currency against anybody that wishes to sell uh, the Japanese yen because they have sufficient amount of foreign reserves thanks to exports that are not that are not a cost again the cart pulls the horse no it does not no it does not imports are a cost exports are a benefit because exports put food on the table for people for real families put the kids through college shelter them go on vacation acquire foreign reserves stabilizes the currency market prevents fear exports are a benefit imports are a cost as Turkey found out the hard way okay you can't print productivity so uh, again this is why I say um, you know M MMT has been protected by stupidity because nobody could be that stupid to do what they say and then when they when they have done it and you see the results black and white they're right in front of you self-evident all you got to do is open your eyes you see what a failed uh, theory it is description prescription whatever you want to call it it's crap it doesn't work and lastly I'll show you this uh, chart and we'll we'll call it quits um, as you can see when they came out and they printed money the average hourly earnings okay and employment full-time and everything uh, age of 16 and over inflation adjusted it soared it went through the roof oh wow look at that we're all rich subsequent to that what has happened is that these wages and earnings have collapsed meanwhile deficits are going straight up the market is going straight up corporate profits are going straight up and everybody else is getting screwed so when they come up with this little you know little gimmick little meme and they're like oh wait you know it's accounting it's accounting stupid learn MMT money's got to go somewhere their debt is our savings right well who's our our who's our that's the question you got to ask you see everybody just sit, uh, thinks that it's them it's not you you are stuck with the liabilities the savings the accounting of the savings goes to the top five percent doesn't go to you 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 get the liability <laughs> you get the inflation you get to pay for it you think a billionaire care cares if food prices rise or the gas prices rise or they don't care it doesn't doesn't affect them <laughs> in the least but it affects you you're the one that has to pay for that deficit myth right you're the one that has to pay for printing for the people's economy printing for the people's economy and it's in its collapsing wages are collapsing in real terms hmm something is wrong here right Erdogan has it right 85 million people just lost 46 percent of their purchasing power 85 million people and Erdogan is has it right you know what we should call Warren Mosler Stevie Wonder because no, <laughs> he can't read a chart <laughs> the Stevie Wonder of economics <laughs> all right guys that's it I'll leave you with this one last chart 
because I think this is a beautiful chart because it's our savings. You know how it is. Okay. So beautiful. I, ha I have to fix it here. Look at that. Corporate profits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. MMT and Mosler are for the little guy. Sure. <laughs> yeah, we need more deficits. We need more deficits because it's our savings. Yeah, meanwhile, corporate profits are soaring, going through the roof. Because nobody's stupid enough to go out and spend $8 trillion in two years. Oh, wait, there is. Like I told you, M&T has been protected by stupidity. Because nobody could be that stupid. And here we are with a bunch of stupid people doing stupid things, making millions of people suffer. Take care. Good night. Patreon.com slash Real Macro. Bye-bye.